Yes people, what is good? I am BA back once again with another movie reaction. This week I've decided to react to Bubba Hotep. Now it's crazy because I used to actually have this movie back in the days when people used to sell pirated DVDs. I must have bought a bunch one day and Bubba Hotep was one of them. I always loved Bruce Campbell and I always thought it was interesting sounding by the synopsis but I just never got round to watching it for some reason. Obviously I know it stars Bruce Campbell. I know it's about L who is retired and now in a nursing home having to fight zombies or a mummy or something but that's literally all I know about it I haven't seen clips I haven't seen a trailer so I'm going into this completely fresh I'm finally getting around to watching this after having it on a pirate DVD all those years ago so without further ado this is Bubba Hotep let's check it out and see what it's saying to it Oh well, I've learnt something within the first five seconds of this film. Didn't know that's what that meant. <laughs> well, that explains that then. Very rare you would see a combination of those two words given the definitions of them both. And I'm assuming because of the Egyptian Hotep side, this is going to be about a mummy rather than zombies or something. Luxor Anil. Die Mumie eines Priesters, 4000 Jahre alt, wird aus einem freigelegten Grabgewölbe hervorgebracht. Those grave robbing motherfuckers. Coolest death mask of all time, though. I was dreaming. Dreaming my dick was out, and I was checking to see if that infected bump on the head of it had filled with pus again. Jesus Christ. The dialogue straight away is fucking very unique. Truth sure. was. I hadn't had a heart on in years. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Bubba or Elvis, whatever his name is. In a post COVID world, you would not want to be having a bed next to that guy. I thought he was calling for help there. No, he's just uh, hitting the recliner up so he can get a better view of the dying man. How could my plans have gone so wrong? When the hell they gotta serve lunch? Considering what they serve, why the hell do I care? I hope we get this monologue for the entire film. So is this actually Elvis or like an Elvis impersonator? It seems like it's the real Elvis by how he's talking, but he might just be delusional. What is that growth, man? Cancer? Nobody's talking. No one seems to know, or wants to. <laughs> that has got to be the worst place to get some sort of alien growth on your body. <laughs> Is that guy dying or just being dramatic? He was in fact not being dramatic. At least he was keeping it real. What kind of life this old guy had? Huh? What kind of life he had? You know, his kids, his grandkids, his legacy. Look at him now. Oh, who gives a shit? Two very different types of Undertaker there. You can tell which one of the two of those guys had been at the job longer. Is that someone in, in an iron lung? Fuck being in one of those things. Did she just steal her glasses? What a bitch! What a thief! Imagine conducting yourself like that in a retirement home. They're definitely gonna kill that woman in this film though. I know how these films roll. You gotta set someone up like that so that they die. Oh shit, she might be dying first. <laughs> Was that a scarab beetle? Oh. Generally not good. Oh shit, packs a mighty bite. <laughs> Oh, 
Good shot. Is this the zombie? The mummy, sorry. I like how they've given him a western theme. Little Stetson on his head because it's Texas. Help me. <laughs> no, you stole people's chocolates and glasses. You die first. Elvis ain't got time for this shit. Wouldn't they be slightly more suspicious about this woman's death considering she had bites on her and shit? Use some of this here deodorizer and spray it on that corpse because she's smelling pretty right. Good idea. Yeah, the back of a horse can't smell the greatest. He doesn't appear to leave his bed at all, does Elvis. He just sort of lies there, watches a few things happen, then goes back to sleep, and that's how he spends his days. What? She threw away his purple heart. Can I have one of them pictures of Bull? Maybe his, uh, his purple heart? Maybe that, uh, that tin of chocolates there? Why not? If she's going to throw them out anyway, get what you can, Elvis. She didn't mind if I got a bird's eye view of her love nest. It was the same to her as a house cat sneaking a peek. A beautiful view. Never seen you here before. I've only been here once before. When I checked him in. Nice to know you support your father. I did what I could. I mean, if it hadn't been for Medicaid or Medicare, whatever that stuff was, he'd have been in some ditch somewhere. Yeah, but you're his daughter. You could have at least visited the guy. You could have come and seen him. They don't charge you for that. Mind your own business. I was busy. Wow, she seems like a cunt as well. I prefer Mr. Presley or Elvis. I keep telling you that. I don't go by Sebastian Half anymore, okay? I don't try and hide anymore. So is he an impersonator? I'm so confused now. You a little confused and you like to play sometime. You were an Elvis impersonator, remember? Ah, okay. So he is an impersonator. You were in a coma for quite a while. You came out with a few problems. <laughs> As if she just communicated that information to the random person there who had nothing to do with him through a stare. And she knew exactly what she meant. I want him out. And this boy, Sebastian Half, he was an Elvis imitator. He's the best of them. He took my place. Ah, so he thinks he is actually Elvis, or claims to be. I don't know if we're going to find out if it's the truth or not, but it's interesting. The woman I love, Priscilla, she was gone. Notice the downgrade in his shades, they went from gold to silver. So I took a little road trip down to Nacogdoches to check out this Sebastian Half. I'd love it if this is the truth and he is actually Elvis. Oh my god. I like how he's playing both parts as well. At least wipe the fucking pie off your face, mate. It's alright, boys. Just another freak. <laughs> and that's when the swap was made. Well, it could be true. So I signed everything over to Sebastian. Except for enough money to sustain me if things got bad. I was determined to make myself a new life. This is a cool backstory, whether it's true or not. It was all written up in the contract. Thing was, I lost my copy in a barbecue accident. <laughs> Those goddamn barbecues. <laughs> that is quite the barbecue accident. Don't carry it too far. You may just get way out there and not come back. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> you gotta love that elderly ability to be able to say whatever the fuck you want. It was nice to meet you, Mr. Presley. Get the hell out. Now, now. She just gave you a purple heart. You could be a bit nicer than that, surely. <laughs> they don't believe him. That's where they took a piece of my brain. They got it back in D.C. in that goddamn job. 
this guy was being shot in the head. President Kennedy was a white man. That's how clever they are. They dyed me this color all over. <laughs> so this guy thinks he's Kennedy and he believes he's Elvis. This is great. So silly, but brilliant. Going from town to town doing the Elvis act. Only I felt like I was really me again. Can you dig that? They must have got a really good show when they were expecting an Elvis impersonator only to actually get the real Elvis. Of course, they don't know that, but he would be convincing. Only, I was Elvis, playing Sebastian Half, playing Elvis. It was all pretty good. <laughs> I didn't mind the contract being burned up. An identity within an identity. I was gyrating, see, taking care of business, and then my hip went out. Uh, uh, I've been having trouble with it. Uh, Damn. And that was the end. Well, at least he got to experience the high life for a lot of his actual life. It's not so bad that he has to sit in a bed in a nursing home knowing how much living he did before his accident. Be careful. You might do your hip again. The fuck? Oh, it's the chocolates. I was wondering what the fuck that was there. Whoa! Man. It's a cool little beetle puppet they've got as well. <laughs> oh, shit. It's like a face hugger than aliens. Alright, man, let's go. <laughs> what a stance he just took. <laughs> I love the fact this is a little puppet. Much better than it being CGI. Got you, you six-legged bastard. Nice. Caught in the bedpan. What are you going to do now? <laughs> Quite a stealth little scarab beetle. Good kill. Never fuck with the king. <laughs> what a first kill of the enemy. Obviously that old woman was killed by Bubba Hotep or Leo. It's good to see him up back on his feet again. All it took was, you know, a scarab beetle attack, but it did the trick. Or was that Lee Harvey Oswald? So this'll be the fake JFK's room. Or the real one. He might be telling the truth as well. The same hell as I. So he's got the scar there. Maybe he's telling the truth as well. They sent somebody to finish me off. I think maybe it was Johnson himself. Real ugly. At least he's still got his guard up for assassination attempts years after he's been put in a nursing home. The damn bugs woke me up, all right? You got bugs all over this place. Yep. Bugs? Well, well, Mr. Half, oh, what kind of bugs have you been seeing? This guy thinks he's completely delusional or imagining things. The size of a peanut butter banana sandwich, man. What do I care? I got a growth on my picker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who gives a fuck about scarab beetles when your dick's infected? Completely see his point of view. Oh, no. Every guy's worst nightmare. 90% of guys worst nightmares. 10% would be like, okay, loop your fingers up and let's go. 20 years ago, just 20, man, I could have made with a curly lip smile and had her eaten out of my asshole. That says the scream. The glory days. Why the hell did I leave the fame in the first place? And do I want it back? And could I have it back? And if I could, would it make any damn difference? You can see his sideburn prosthetic on the left side of his face slightly coming loose there. Mr. Hare. Lord almighty. <laughs> you old rascal. Has he got an erection? You better take a cold shower, Mr. Hare. There have been two presidential elections since I had a boner like that one. I'm proud of him. I'd have been given a dose of life again. Our facial expressions are great. Why don't you pull on it a little? You ought to be ashamed. <laughs> and proud. Be proud, mate. He looks proud. 
It's an ambush. Hopefully they're just fake guns. Otherwise everyone at this breakfast bar is about to die. <laughs> is he unsure as to whether or not that actually happened to him now? Daddy. Okay, he's definitely got to be imagining this. What's that? I thought it was Lyndon Johnson, but I was wrong. I've come across new evidence that suggests another assassin. A mummy assassin. Someday, who knows? Somebody might just disconnect the batter at the White House. Oh, yeah. Does he think he's linked to a battery in the White House? Assure me you had nothing at all to do with that day in Dallas. And that you did not know <laughs> Lee Harvey Oswald or Jack Ruby. He needs to make Sutton. Come on, Elvis, pony up the M4. Was it you and Oswald in cahoots? Well, I wear glasses when I really want to see. Get him. Come on. We've got a team forming. Damn, this here Jack was a nut. Maybe I was nuts too. There was an adventure going on. This is such a cool setup. Such a unique idea for the film. Look close. The mummy certainly had a lot of time to etch the hieroglyphs. It's Egyptian. Right, oh, Reno. Hey. You're not as stupid as some folks made you out. I'd like to think it just translates to your typical bathroom stall graffiti. Like, you suck cocks, lol. Pharaoh, gobbles, donkey, goobers. And the bottom line, Cleopatra does the nasty. Say what? <laughs> so basically it was. Had his mouth over my asshole. A shit eater? I don't think so. He was after my soul. <laughs> so this mummy extracts souls via asshole. The lore is just getting better and better in this movie. To stay alive, he has to suck on the souls of the living, and then if the souls are small, his life force doesn't last long. Sounds like just a shit vampire. Especially when you have to extract the soul via asshole. Vampires would be way less scary if they sucked your blood anally. They'd have to position themselves all different. They couldn't just like embrace you romantically. They'd have to they'd have to get to the rim job stage before they could feed. Which will it be? Let's get decadent. I'll take it, baby. <laughs> Gotta love a secret sweetie stash in a care home, like Junior Soprano in The Sopranos, when he was dealing candy at poker games. If that thing comes back two or three times in a row and wraps his lips around some elder's arsehole... <laughs> this is brilliantly ridiculous. I fucking love this shit. It's like a B-movie with a slightly higher budget. I'd have loved to have seen Bruce Campbell as he initially read this script. He must have been laughing. Well, he went in to take a crap, got bored, started writing on the walls. Makes sense to me. Even mummies need shits. He eats souls. So I assumed that he would crap soul residue. Oh my god. Flushing soul residue down the shit -o. Just like anybody else when it comes to taking a dump. He wants a nice clean place with a flush. They didn't have that in this time. You've got to say this, like, there has never been a movie like this one. I love any film that is just genuinely unique like this. Don't go out in the hole. That's right, man. I'm not asleep. Well, that don't mean he won't hurt you. Oh, he my ass. There isn't any mummy from Egypt. You might be wrong here, Elvis. You haven't been wrong yet, but you might be here. It's a very unique mummy as well, how they've kind of made it like a cowboy mummy. Okay, this guy, even if he doesn't kill them, is going to have to pay one hell of a bill to replace those lights. I love the effects as well, it's like a Tales from the Crypt zombie. Give this guy real revolvers. He'd have fucking put this thing down 20 minutes ago. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Now our only hope is gone.
You know what they say, live by the gun, die by mommy ass soul sucking. Gone down and out with both guns blazing. <laughs> soul intact. Oh, he never got his soul sucked at least. Those cap guns kept him safe. I like how Elvis cares about other people's belongings in this care home. He won't throw it away, he'll keep hold of that. One minute you're here and the next minute you're gone! Oh, oh, Holy oh, shit. shit! Respect the dead, motherfucker. I like how these guys are just reoccurring characters with their philosophical conversations as they escort the dead. It's time for you now. And it's also time for us to do that little, well, you know. She seems to be wanting to do it a bit more regularly now. I think she enjoys it. You treat me like a baby again, I'll wrap this goddamn walker right around your head. Grumpy. It's good to see him get his strength back though. A bit of youthful exuberance. He's taken one hell of a risk doing this. Done well though. Could have been a bad ending for old one hip Elvis there. Where'd old Bubba Hotep go? Where'd he come from? I don't know how old Bruce Campbell was when he filmed this, but I know he wasn't as old as he's portraying. It's quite good facial makeup on him. Under the bridge. You saw him under the bridge. Oh, so did the car transporting the sarcophagus go off the bridge? Is he doing it himself? Gross. Actually, I don't know what's worse. I mean, if it's going to have to happen, you would take the attractive nurse doing it, I guess. Here I was complaining about loss of pride and how life had treated me, and now I realise I never had any pride. These inner monologues are great. They're like 50% self-reflection and philosophy, and then 50% just vulgarity. Always the questions, never the answers. Always the hopes, never the fulfilment. A lot of people are the same, unfortunately. I think even people with very fulfilled lives still have hopes that are never fulfilled. King Tut or whatever? I oh, know, I'm more like King Tut's brother. Some non-celebrity mummy. Bus was washed away, see? Because I think I saw it today. It was, it was way back in the creek. The mummy was imprisoned by the debris. I like how this is a small part of detective movie as well. They're getting to the bottom of this shit. So what do I do, Jack? Well, changing rest homes might be a good idea. I can't think of much else. To be fair, that would be a logical start. Just get the fuck out of there. But then they'll never get the glory of getting to the bottom of this. I'll be damned if I let some foreign graffiti writing soul sucking son of a bitch take my friend's souls and shit them down the visitor's toilet. <laughs> nice, that's the spirit. Ask not what your rest home can do for you. Ask what you can do for your rest home. <laughs> hey, you're copying my best lines. He makes a good point while copying, though, so you know. Found this in the storage room. I thought they kept it locked. They do. I stole a hairpin and picked the lock, baby. Resourceful as Elvis. Big check on that, baby. Nice, is he getting back in his classic gear? It's what we all want to see. They're supposed to ward off evil. And yeah, wrote them down, one for each of us. Well, we use what we got, baby. He's sounding more youthful as well. He's using the term baby and shit. He wasn't doing that a few hours ago. They say that fire cleanses evil. Let's just hope that they, whoever they are, is right. Don't know about cleanse, but it certainly burns it to a crisp. Also, watch your ass. Literally. What a team. This is the hero shot. Engines used to wear them into battle. Full of all kinds of lucky stuff. See here? Mucho mojo. He's got the keepsakes from his fallen brethren. Nice. Trying to make things right somehow. No time for regrets, Elvis. We were the best fathers we could be under the circumstances. Must be hard to be a dad and have the lives Elvis and JFK had. Marilyn Monroe? What's she like in a sack? Between you and me? Wow! <laughs> True story about Marilyn Monroe. A private purchaser bought a video of her sucking a dick for three million dollars at a private auction. I don't know whether she was renowned for that, but I, not a lot of people know that about her. She sucked a dick on camera. 
Marilyn Monroe porn exists out there and some dudes got it and I feel like it should be the quest of the male community to make that public access. Side note, I was expecting this movie to be a kind of gore fest like your typical horror where, there's, where the mummy bumps off people one by one but it really hasn't been that. It's been a lot of character building but it's been so hilarious and interesting that it works for the best that it didn't have a high body count. It's been interesting enough, it didn't need anything else. That was a very cartoony gulp there. Hey Jack! Not the time you want to be sleeping, mate. Get the fuck up. Nice. The walk up to the rescue. Don't make me use my stuff on you, baby. <laughs> Don't fuck with the king. No, Jack! Oh shit, you can't kill JFK, again. Come and get it, you undead sack of shit. <laughs> the final showdown, Elvis is ready. Sorry, man. <laughs> Even had the politeness to apologize before the incineration. Now, it's up to you, Elvis. Oh no, he's dying. Ah, oh, rest in peace to JFK. What a character. <laughs> Mr. President. You know you're a dawn when you're getting saluted by the king. You nasty thing. From beyond the dead. No matter what you think or do. Good things will never come to you. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. No matter how hard you try. <laughs> Bringing Anubis into this shit now, that's unnecessary. Holy shit, could have easily taken himself out there along with the mummy. The king has a broken rib, this ain't good. TCB, baby. Had one last good punch in him. Your soul sucking days are over, amigo. Born in Egyptian hell, you fuck. The dream team did it. I still have my soul. It's still mine. He went out a fucking hero. Thank you, Ram. Fitting last words from Elvis. Okay, and that was Bubba Hotep, and I will be back in just a minute with my thoughts on that. So, Bubba Hotep, what did I think of that? I fucking love any film that's got a unique premise, unique scenes, things I haven't seen before, and yes, even though this movie clearly is inspired by B-movies, it was like nothing I'd ever seen before. Talk about your odd couples, getting a is he or is he not Elvis Presley in a retirement home with an is he or is he not black JFK, putting them together and forcing them to fight an Egyptian mummy is about as original as you can get. Now, if this had a lesser budget, it could be just another B-movie, but because it was very well produced and filmed and edited and shit, it raised it above that to like, essentially a commercial movie but with a B-movie plot. And that made it fucking great. The dialogue, the character interactions, everything about it had that spice of a B-movie, but with high production values. Bruce Campbell certainly can pick a cult classic, because this is on some Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness shit. It's like another movie in that same vein, but a completely unique concept. I love the way they did all the creature effects, from the little puppet scarab beetles to the mummy design of Bubba Hotep. They were all brilliant because they were practical. I don't like CGI, and the fact that everything we saw was filmed on the screen just made it all 
all the better for it. It's a shame they actually killed off this character because I noticed in the end credits it said Elvis will be back in Elvis vs the She Vampires. I would have watched that shit. They could have made a bunch of sequels to this movie and they could have all been so great. But again, that's me thinking from the modern perspective of everything you like needs a sequel. And sometimes a film is good when it stands by itself and is just left alone like this was. I really need to check who wrote this and see what else they've written as well because everything from the dialogue to just the scenarios and the way things played out was so fresh to me, I would love to watch more by whoever wrote this movie. And on top of that, it was just a constantly funny film. I found myself laughing all the way through this. It's obviously not meant to be taken 100% seriously. It's constantly winking at the audience. And again, that's just another thing that improves the quality to me. When they're, ha when they're laughing along with us, not at us, or we're not laughing at them, we're all laughing together. And the other thing I found interesting was as I said during it, you would expect a film with this premise to have like a high body count. You know, people in the care home getting bumped off one by one and then Elvis and JFK having to face the evil at the end. But it really didn't go down that path. It killed a couple of people, yes, but it wasn't all blood and guts and shit. It was very low in gore and very low in body count. But because of that, we got to see a lot of scenes with the characters and that's where the true comedy was coming from anyway. I'm so surprised I never got to seeing this movie until now and I'm so thankful that it was re-recommended to me by one of my patrons and I finally got round to checking it out because this shit is brilliant. This is the sort of film I love, you don't know what you're going to get and what you get is good. The perfect combination to actually enjoy what you're watching, not just another rehash plotline, not just another sequel following the same steps as the original, something truly creative and unique. This might not be everybody's cup of tea but this is one 100% my cup of tea. More movies with creative plots and premises need to be given a chance because sometimes you just get tired of the same old shit and one thing that this was not was the same old shit. I absolutely loved this, I thoroughly enjoyed it and I wish I could find something as unique as this every week to react to because I enjoy nothing more in cinema than just freshness like this. Shout outs to Bruce Campbell for deciding to do this project. He can certainly spot a gold script when others might just pass it over because they find the premise silly or something. And big ups to whoever wrote this and to whoever directed this as well, they did a brilliant job. I have seen a lot of films with mummies before, but never one like this. If you've liked this video, click like, subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this, ring the bell to be notified as to when they drop, if there's anything you want to talk about, comment down below, and share this around to anybody you think might appreciate it or want to watch my reactions along with us in future. My Patreon link is down in the description. If you become a patron you get access to my blog, you get access to these reactions I put on YouTube a month and a half in advance and you also get access to full length versions of everything I react to. So consider becoming a patron, it helps me and the channel out so much and until next time, I have been BA, peace.